All right, we are back with Pete from Weller, and now we're gonna learn a little bit more about the flexibility of this unit. I understand that there are a couple base units, but outside of that, really, you can do a whole lot with this one, right? It doesn't have to be this pencil and these tweezers. Absolutely. So, this is a base controller, and we have several different soldering pencils that we can plug into it for your various applications. This is our WXP65 soldering pencil. It is compatible with this base. Also has a memory in it, so if you plug in, it'll just upload. It'll know what pencil is plugged into the unit. It is programmed temperature-wise. Everything else that we have already uh, talked about is exactly the same. It's just a different pencil with a different series of soldering tips. We change out the soldering tips on this pencil just like that. There's the, there's the tip. Oh, so it's just that little guy. It's, it's not just, this whole thing. And so all you have to do is when that uh, tip becomes old and worn, you just have to replace that soldering tip and the heater and thermocouple will remain right in the soldering tip or soldering pencil itself. That's really nice. And then when you have, it's that easy. Over here, we now have the WXP120. There is a soldering pencil that is also powered by the same base unit. So if you have a high heat mass application, uh, you have a 120 watt soldering pencil with a whole different range of soldering tips for high heat mass applications. They change out the same way. Slides off. There is the tip. That's what that looks like. And there again is the heater and the thermocouple that's right up in the end there where the temperature is sensed during the soldering process. Neat. Okay, so that's 120. This mm -hmm. one we said is what? That's 50? a 45 watt. 45, that okay. That one's an 80 watt. And there's one other that we have. We don't have it with us today, but it's a 200 watt soldering pencil <laughs> for those really heavy duty applications that's temperature controlled. It's a 200 watt soldering pencil all controlled with the same base. They all have silicone cords, anti-burn cords, so if it was hot and I accidentally touched the cord, you don't have to worry about burn, burning a hole through it. Hey. What kind of temperature resistance does that go up to? I mean, how can you wrap it like long term? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you know, I mean, if you left it there for a long period of time, yes, it's going to burn. Those but work. if you just accidentally touch, you won't have any problem at all. Nice. Uh, a lot of what we're doing these days is we're using the dry tip clean system that is has this little brass wool type uh, ball that the solder, uh, you just uh, put the soldering tip in there to clean the uh, solder off the tip. Mm -hmm. And it, Or if you don't prefer to not to use these, you just pull that little uh, a, a W2 base out and you put your uh, sponge in there and you can use a sponge. But a lot of folks with lead-free solder, these are helping the tips last longer by using these type of products. Very nice. And we'll explain uh, more about soldering tip care as we uh, do more presentations. Absolutely.